Hello. I know I haven't posted in a while but a few people have asked me for a guide slash tips on how to play Nayad. I'm formerly the second Nayad and have maintained an A badge for a few seasons, but I'd just like to say I am definitely not the best at playing her and there are many different builds slash traits you can carry for success. My playstyle has changed throughout my time using her so I will just go over a few ways to use her. So to start off I will be talking about build slash trait. Now she works with many different varieties here so just remember use what works best for you. This is the current build I bring on Nayad, which I would not suggest if you are new to her or not confident in your abilities. Some builds I would suggest bringing are Insolence plus Detention, Trump Card plus Detention, or Trump Card plus Insolence. If you don't like any of those builds, you can test out different builds like I did and choose what works best for you. The build you bring will also depend on the map so don't forget that. I suggest bringing Trump Card to switch to teleport in-game on larger maps like Moonlit or Chinatown. For traits, you typically want to bring Blink, Peepers, or Patroller. I run peepers currently but most Nayads will bring blink. Once again this depends on how you want to play and you have to test all before you decide. Now I will show examples of each build in a match.
Now that we have build slash traits out of the way, let's talk about some basics when using her. You can see me constantly pulling back the harpoon and putting it out again to block out certain kiting areas and build up water on the survivor. This is a lot more effective than trying to block out an entire area, as that survivor will just transition and you will waste time. As for stuffing rescues, once you chair the survivor, surround the entire area with water. Once that area is surrounded, Bring the harpoon back, and focus on getting water on the rescuer only by walking around them. Sometimes you cannot bring back the harpoon fast enough to double hit so I find this more effective. If you know the survivor is far enough from the chair to do the dash method, that is fine too. Now, I'll show another gameplay and explain what I am doing throughout the match. This is using my regular build, Insolence Plus Peepers. I really like this match because it's a great example of how a full presence hunter can turn the game around during the end game, especially Nayad. First I am rotating around to survivor spawns and blocking off the shack area since I know someone is nearby. The embalmer gained a bit of distance from the window boost so I use harpoon to catch up and continue to throw and retrieve to increase the water on them. Place peepers to see if they transition slash slow them down. This is a bad area to kite in so I got a hit in, repeat process with the harpoon. Eventually I chair them and surround the entire area with water to see when rescuer comes slash potentially stop it from happening. Unfortunately the seer is the one to rescue and they come in using the owl, so I can't do much about that. Hit embalmer again but keep in mind they will use coffin on second chair, so don't waste your harpoon slash dash yet. Always try to get a hit and if you don't have full presence yet. I use coffin, so I finally use my dash to catch up and repeat again. Notice even though Embalmer did not kite long, there is one cipher remaining. Tide can buy survivors a lot of time, which is why attempting to stop rescues is important. Now we are at the almost prime cipher. I am placing my peepers down and immediately surrounding the area with water. If you are in a situation like this, try to get everyone down to half health. Keep the cipher surrounded with water. The survivors are scared of the water so I am able to get the acrobat downed. Do not chair in this situation, someone will just rescue then pop. I place my peeper and slug, going for the next survivor.
Enchantress attempts to pop but because of the peepers and water on her, it is too slow and I get a terror shock before finishes, turning the match into a 4 man. Overall, just always know where your harpoon is when pulling back and you can get a fairly fast down. Pressure ciphers when people are chaired, keep an eye out for prime cipher, place peepers whenever needed. Good luck! If you have any specific questions or want another example of gameplay feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you for watching.